All right, so this is a suggestion via Discord. Uh, the name of the video is a teen rescued after 49 days at sea. Um, guys, really quickly, I see the title. Uh, then I also see like the overall thumbnail image and it looks like it's a house. He didn't build this at sea. I think he purposely did this, guys. All right, let's get it, let's get it. An incredible rescue caught on camera. A teenager lost at sea for 49 days with no food, no water, and no way to steer. This no stunning food video or shows water, the 49 days. To safety. Our chief national correspondent, oh. Matt Gutman, has the story. Good morning, Matt. I'm sorry to be a skeptic, guys, but no food, no water, 49 days doesn't make any sense. Maybe he ran out of food and water because I'm telling you, it looks like he did this on purpose. Hey, good morning, Michael. On the most harrowing part of that journey, you can't see in that video. He apparently jumped off that raft and swam towards that giant tanker in the open ocean where crew members threw him a life preserver. He'd survived, he said, by eating fish he'd caught and drinking okay. seawater he filtered through his shirt. Drinking seawater? This Get that man some water now. 49 days in the making. 19-year-old Aldi Adelang rescued from the Pacific Ocean after nearly two months lost at sea. Adelang lives and operates this wooden fishing vessel, and on July 14th, blistering winds snapped the rope which was anchoring the floating hut in place and sent him drifting 1,200 miles, taking the teen from the shores of Indonesia okay. to near Guam. After running out of supplies, the boy, alone, like the hero in the movie Life of Pi, Hello! had to think out of the box. Okay, Using all right guys, I apologize, all right? Initially, it was just like, bro, it's a fully structured device, a structure that you made, bro. Thought he did it on purpose. All right, the line snapped, oh, this is terrible. Using wood from the boat's hut to make fires, catching fish out of the ocean to eat, and filtering seawater through his t-shirt to drink. Adelang says countless ships passed him by, unaware of his plight. He tried to flag them down, but to no avail. Then, seven weeks later to the day, this massive ship came to his rescue. The teen managing to send out distress signals, a simple help over his portable radio, causing the ship that had passed him by to turn around. The ship approaching him, causing those giant swells, nearly capsizing his raft. But the young man holding on, screaming as the waves crash over him. Finally, the crew starts heaving him in. Careful, careful. So many questions. Clinging to that rope ladder and hanging on for dear life. Okay, that's good, that's good. Slowly, slowly. Before finally making it into the outstretched arms okay. of that crew. So that raft is called a floating fish trap. It okay. definitely seems like a trap, all right, because the thing, this is the third time it has gone adrift. It's one of the reasons his employer gave him that two-way radio. Now, Adeline was to spend six months on board. He'd been working on that raft for three years, but says he's not going back ever. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 bro, that's not for you. That's not for you. Um, the thing about it is this has to be something extremely cultural, obviously something localized to wherever he is from, guys. It looks like Indonesia, I think, is. Um, if that's a thing, please enlighten me. I've never seen anything like this structure. Uh, I thought that it was something that maybe he was living on. Maybe he was living in like a... Um, like a, like a village or so where everyone lived like that because there was water, like heavy water, right? Um, like a lot of these um, like floating villages in a sense, guys, right? That's kind of where I was mentally. But the fact that this happens often, I think it's time for him to definitely get on dry land. Uh, obviously keep water in this, in this, you know, structure here uh keep everything you know that you need to at least survive for at least 49 days next time uh two-way radio you know listen it worked apparently because apparently the uh the boat itself the ship itself is like scanning for you know all frequencies and things like that guys but um yeah it's time to get off that boat um and i'm sure apparently this is also happening to other people and you know what it is based off of this at least guys um i'm glad he got you know, saved guys, but whew, drinking seawater, seawater. I there must be something I don't I don't understand because I, I in my head for some reason I always thought that we couldn't drink seawater, right? And it would be enough to like sustain us, guys.
Uh, if that's the case, then a lot of people should have been doing that instead of like, you know, succumbing to dehydration on the high seas, guys. You get what I mean? Um, but all right, listen, you guys all have an absolutely amazing day and enjoy your day thoroughly.